pretty gal of mine, Miss Lucy Long. Now, Miss Lucy Long, she was one-eyed, but that didn't matter much to me because I had two good eyes and she looked plenty good to me. <laughs> she asked me if I missed her, if I was lonesome, and of course I said yes. And then she asked if I'd play for her that banjo tune that I wrote special just for her. So I reached behind that bar there and grabbed my banjo and it was a little rusty from all those misguided pours over the years. But you know what? It was not tune, which says a lot about a banjo. Right? <laughs> well, I played her tune and I do believe I saw her heart move just a little bit. And that was something for her because, you know, her heart was broke as many times as my old man's wheat field. And that was broke every springtime, you know. So I played her. I did not play her at any sissified jukebox lullaby. I played her a tune that was as real as the oak of that bar we was leaning against. When I was done, I swear, I saw a tear well up in that one good eye of hers. <laughs> you know, and it just showed me, and as you'll see too, the music is a powerful force. If it can move a, whore, a heart, that was as hardened <laughs> as Lucy Long's. <laughs> tonight, folks, we have tonight from Montrose, which is a town that's famous for its two synchronized stoplights. <laughs> We have the last fight. Now, they promised that they play for you their favorite listening to audience, some of their favorite tunes and melodies and songs. And they do play a mixture of old time, new folk, Americana, bluegrass, and Celtic. So at this time, what we need to do is part these curtains and commence our show with a warm pea green welcome for Last Bike! <laughs>
green in the springtime. New life, 